Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mikey and I'm a third year undergraduate student here at the University of Waterloo in Canada. And today's video is gonna be very simple, very rolled back, and I'm gonna basically be talking about my desk setup. Now, I've had this desk in many, many, many videos in my YouTube career, although I've only been on YouTube for like four or five months now. Basically, I had a very cluttered desk setup in my very beginning videos on YouTube. Then I went to a more simple look, and now I have I like to call my desk the elegant desk setup or the no cable standing desk setup because it is a standing desk and I made no cables present at all, connecting everything through one cable. And I basically focused on productivity, ergonomics, and comfortability when it came to creating my desk setup. And without any further ado, let's get started with the video. So my desk is actually called the fully Jarvis laminate standing desk. And I decided to get this desk because the desk that I had before was all white. I had it at Waterloo and it there was two drawers right under it. And I didn't like the whole drawer setup being right under the desk because anytime I wanted to fold my legs or I wanted to sit cross-legged while studying, it got in the way and it was a pretty big hassle. I decided to go with the extended range model primarily because sometimes I want to decrease it to a really low level. This desk is also really cool as well because it also has four different memory presets. So I could set it up to the lowest setting, to the highest setting, to the setting that I have sitting as well as the setting I have standing. So I don't have to keep adjusting it up and down where I already have the presets ready to go. Now later on in the video, I'm actually going to talk about how I was able to organize my desk setup to work through only one cable. As you guys can see, I have so many things on my table. So in order to do that, it did take me a while. So stay tuned if you want to see how I did that. The laptop I have is one of the top end models that Apple actually sells. I decided to go with this laptop since the laptop before it I had for actually five years and it broke down on me while I was actually in school. The laptop itself has 32 gigs of RAM and it has also the new Vega 20 graphics card or at least it was new during that year. Right now, I would have definitely opted for the M1 MacBook Pro. It's actually a really funny story how I ended up purchasing this laptop. All right, so it was a very funny story actually how I ended up buying my Mac. When I was in first year university, I had a biology lab that I typed up on my computer um, and then randomly my computer crashed. Now, one of the reasons why my computer probably crashed was because I changed the internals of my Mac. Long story short, basically it ended up breaking down because of everything that I changed to it and I lost all of my information. So I literally had to take a bus from my university to the nearest Apple store to buy a new laptop when I had the lab report due in like two days and that was a big hassle, but thank God I ended up actually getting this new MacBook. Now for my monitor, this is a 32 inch QLED monitor from Samsung. They don't have this monitor still in stock right now. I'm not sure why they stopped selling it, but I have linked down below a similar one to mine. It is also curved and to be honest, I like the curve. I wouldn't say it is a big deal breaker, but if you have the option to get a curved monitor, I would recommend getting one. And for my mouse, I have the G502 Lightspeed Logitech mouse. I used to have the MX Master 3. To be honest, both the MX Master 3 and the G502 Lightspeed are really great. They both have have a lot of preset customizations for buttons. I use it for increasing the volume, decreasing the volume, copy and pasting, as well as switching between windows. And I found it to be very, very useful and it saves a lot of time. So that's why I stuck with it. Now you might ask yourself, why do you have a trackpad, Michael? And the main reason is because there's some tasks that I need the trackpad for and that just the trackpad makes it way quicker. Like if I want to zoom in or zoom out, or if I want to explore a timeline on Final Cut Pro and plus cause Apple has the trackpad and Windows doesn't. So I got to support the best company on earth. As for my keyboard, I have a couple keyboards actually that I switched out between the years of high school, the beginning of my whole university career, and now the current keyboard that I use is the Logitech G915 TKL Lightspeed, and I have the clicky version. To be honest, I got the clicky version because it just sounds super cool. I used to use the iQuinix keyboard as well as the Keychron K2. I also have the Apple Magic keyboard and to be honest, I just switch between them sometimes just to change it up because I do do a lot of typing. Now, one of the cheapest investments that you could actually add to your desk setup is Alexa. Now, I use Alexa for a lot of things. The first thing is actually my lights, so all the lights for my room as well as my desk lamp that I use sometimes at night when I'm studying. All I have to do is simply say, Alexa, turn on desk lamp. 
and then the lights will turn on. And then all I also have to do is just say Alexa turn off desk lamp and the lights will turn off. I also have lights under my desk sometimes that I use just because they look really cool. You could switch between a bunch of colors as well as a bunch of modes and it's just really nice to use at night when you're trying to get a lot of work done. Now, although I can control the table lights from the device that I have on the left side of my desk, I could also just say Alexa turn on table lights. And then I could also say Alexa set table lights to be any color like red. And I also have smart plugs. So smart plugs is essentially a smart way of charging your computer or any device that you essentially connect to it. So if I say a specific command like Alexa turn on computer, Alexa will know to turn on smart plug number one, which will activate my computer's power source and will actually turn on my computer. So I don't have to go and keep turning on and off every single time I wanna get started and start working on my monitor. I also have an extra one that I use for my iPad sometimes. Sometimes I'm leaving, I have to go do something and my iPad is like 10%, but I want it to, I want it to fully charge without overcharging. So while I'm out, I actually set a routine to stop charging after two hours. So that way I can make sure my iPad doesn't overcharge. Now I have a bunch of accessories that I actually bought over the past three or four years since I had my original desk set up. The first is the speakers. To be honest, these aren't anything, there's nothing really special about these speakers. I think I paid like 90 or hundred dollars for them Canadian uh, and they work really, really well. They're also super loud. So that's kind of why I got them. I also have a hard drive that I use for storing any photos, any documents, basically anything that I need on my computer. I also store it there just in case anything happens to my computer and it crashes. I also have this cool Grovemade stand that I bought from a company well, called Grovemade. Uh, they're really, really nice. They have, a, they actually has a slot that I could put my iPad in. So it makes everything look really elegant. I have the same thing for my Mac that it actually stores my Mac on. So everything just matches. This handmade card also came with my Grovemade stand. So I thought it was really nice and sincere of them. I also have a cool desk mat. So this one's actually reversible. One side is like a light brown color. The other side is gray. I mainly strictly use the light brown color just because it looks really elegant and really nice. As you know, I, you know, I try to make my desk look really, really nice. I also have some cool coasters. I also just like bought from Amazon just to match the dark wood. I also have a Rubik's cube. So a couple months ago, I actually set out a goal to learn how to do the Rubik's cube in under two minutes. And I was actually able to get that goal. So that was pretty nice because every time I saw it in front of me, I knew that today I would have to solve the Rubik's cube. And if I did that over a long period of time, I ended up actually getting it under two minutes. I also have a wireless charger for my phone. So anytime I come to the desk, I could drop my phone on it. However, when I'm studying at, to be honest, I throw my phone under my bed or anywhere else so that I could focus on the work that I have right now. I also have a cool headphone holder. So this is just under my desk. It's very sleek. It's very nice that it's there. So I don't have to store it on top of my desk and I keep seeing it when I put it under my desk. I know that it's always there and it's just a very great place to store my headphones. And I also have this cool webcam. So I think I had three webcams over the past like four years. Now this webcam, there's really nothing special about it. It's a Logitech Brio. Um, every single year on Black Friday, there's usually a big discount on webcams. Now the final accessory that I have for my desk is actually cable holders. And I actually didn't realize how useful they would be up until I purchased them. They help keep my cables organized on the sides of the desk. So whenever I wanna charge my iPad or when I need to take my Mac out of the docking station and I need somewhere to store my laptop cable, I actually end up putting it in the cable holder and it keeps things very organized. Now with my cable management, this definitely took me probably the most time to set up on my whole desk. And I've been through many different routines on setting it up. Like the first thing I ever did when I set up my desk was I actually used duct tape and that worked for a while, but then I realized that the adhesive wasn't sticking as well. So you guys can probably see that there are some extra parts from old duct tapes that I took off. And then I realized that the best way of doing it is actually through zip ties and through this other zip tie mechanism thingy. I don't know what it's called. Um, I used to use these like cable holder thingies, but they were to be honest a hassle and I didn't like them a lot. And I found that using zip ties was the best method. So if you guys look over here, I also have like a Mac dock. This is where I have my keyboard, my mouse, my monitor, as well as my charger, as well as my webcam. It's all connected over here and it leads up to my laptop, as you guys can see over here through a one cable solution. All the cables behind my Grovemate stand are also all hidden. I tried to make everything look really, really nice. 
Now setting up all the cables behind the Grove Mate stand took me actually a long while, like three or four hours, because there was a lot of trial and error. Like sometimes I would tie two different cables together in the back and then one of them would slack or fall off and then I would have to refix it. And I also needed to make sure that anytime I moved my webcam, there wouldn't be a lot of pressure on the cables. And I also tied the four cables together for my speaker as well as for my laptop on the left hand side of my desk to make sure that nothing can be seen while you are actually working on the desk. And finally, to make sure that the desk can actually go up and down, I nailed an extension cord to the bottom of the desk while also making sure that the extension cord cable doesn't have any strain on it while the desk is going up and down. And now finally is the chair. This chair is called the Steelcase Leap. To be honest, there was a lot of really great chairs out there, but I knew that since I was gonna be at my desk for you know six to 12 hours every single day, I needed to find a chair that was really, really good. In my opinion, any chair that has adjustable lumbar support and adjustable arms will do. So if you find anything online that has that, I would suggest that you go with it. Basically, any other chair would most likely not be very good for your back. And especially with online school, having an adjustable lumbar support is very, very important. And that basically sums up my whole desk setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe and like if you want to see more content like this and content for me in general. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and take it easy. Like, yo, watch this. Alexa, turn on desk lights. Okay. Well, that's awkward. <coughs>